Unlike the replication of circular DNA, ligand strand synthesis on linear DNA causes a distinct set of issues known as the end of replication problem. The ligand strand of DNA with a five prime end poses a distinct issue at the ends of the chromosomes because it lacks a free three prime hydroxyl group and thus with every round of replication part of the chromosome will be lost. This poses an issue for cells that undergo a lot of replication and thus cells need a mechanism to deal with this. Intertelomerase, a special type of RNP or ribonuclear protein which is a special type of enzyme with a nucleic acid and a protein domain. Telomerase functions to extend the three prime overhang and then set a primer that is able to build back some of this five prime underhang. However, telomerase is not perfect in that it still will leave a little bit of an overhang at the end. A telomere is the end structure of linear DNA. Telomeres are made of a three prime overhang rich in guanine and thus the underhang on the five prime end is rich in cytosine by complementarity. The G-rich nature of the overhang comes in repeating units of four nucleotides containing mostly G. In this case, we're using C, G, G, G. This is important in the formation of a structure called a quadruplex. This quadruplex is rich in G and is thus called a G quadruplex. This quadruplex is made of repeating structures called G quartets. These G quartets contain guanines linked together by a special type of base pairing called a Hogstein base pairing. This is different than standard Watson and Crick base pairing. The G quadruplex is made of repeating units of G quartets. These quartets involve Hodstein base pairing, which is a different form of base pairing than Hodson and Crick base pairing. These structures are helpful in stabilizing small units of DNA on the overhang. However, certain cells need something more important, an enzyme that helps replicate and extend the overhang and the underhang to reduce the amount of DNA lost. Within the protein subunits, telomerase contains a strand of RNA that is complementary and anti-parallel to the G-rich three prime overhang. Using this, telomerase is able to replicate this overhang and extend the DNA onward in the three prime direction. Thus, the three prime overhang extends. And while this may seem like an issue at first, this is actually an important step in the telomerase process. Next, DNA polymerase alpha is recruited to make a short RNA primer. And then, after this, DNA polymerase epsilon is able to continuously synthesize this last stretch of DNA, thus roughly completing this section of DNA at the telomere. Finally, a ribonuclease will remove the primer and, as we can see here, a significantly smaller amount of this telomere is lost than before. Now, even though this looks like a short stretch here, telomerase may add hundreds or thousands of nucleobases before, hundreds or thousands of nucleobases before we transcribe the complement. No, nope. hundreds or thousands of nucleobases before we synthesize the complementary strand. In several cell types, this is very important. Let's think about what those cell types might be. Anything that's replicating a lot does not want to lose length of its DNA over time because as the DNA shrinks inwards, you'll start to lose functional genes and so thus you'll have high risk of forming cancers or non-functional cells. So cells where this would be important to be able to actually replicate the ends of the chromosomes would be cells that are dividing a lot, such as fetal cells, hepatocytes, or stem cells. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what genetics class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are currently enrolled as a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu. tutoring You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online through Navigate, or just drop in during our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.